Now let us try to understand what are various differences between refinery and petrochemical plants. Okay, why these things are different and as a piping engineer we should know some basic things about this. Okay, although most of the engineering activities will remain same but still as an engineer we should know few things which are really important. So as we are uh, aware like in refinery we go through a lot of uh, processing uh, activities like distillation cracking, reforming, blending, treating, just to get out the desired products. Okay. Now, after getting uh, so many processes, we get these products out of refinery. Right. Now, these products will be used uh, as a fuel in transportation, then heating, maybe paving roads, then generating electricity. There are so many uses. Out of these, these are the but obvious uses which everybody knows and these are very common. But at the same time, these are feedstocks to chemical industry, right? That means these outcomes are raw materials for petrochemical plants, right? Now, what we are getting, whatever we are getting from refinery, we are categorizing into two parts, olefins and aromatics okay we are not going into chemistry but still few things which are important we should understand and we should know olefins are uh, what are olefins and aromatics okay these are straight structures comes under olefin aromatic this kind of structures are there so what we are having olefins includes ethylene propylene butane okay which are raw material for making plastics in chemical industry petrochemical plant will be there where these will be the raw material which are outcome of refinery will be processed to make plastics at the same time if you look at aromatics which includes benzene toluene xylene these are again raw materials and these are used to make dyes and synthetic detergents so that means these olefins aromatics which are outcome of refinery are used as raw material in petrochemical industry to make plastics dyes detergent these are just an example there are so many other uh, products for example if you know the commonly used products such as plastic fertilizer packaging clothing medical equipment detergents and tires are outcome of chemical and petrochemical industry right so this is how these two things are different refinery we are processing crude oil we are getting something these will be the raw material for petrochemical plant where we are getting these plastic fertilizer packaging clothing medical equipment all this stuff will be obtained from chemical industry right so this is a major difference between these two industries now there is a very interesting fact here whatever we are doing in refinery and chemical plant, petrochemical plants whatever we are obtaining only five percent contributes towards petrochemical products okay if you look around uh, yourself you will be finding a lot of things which are made of plastic okay a lot of fertilizer clothing everything will be there but these are just five percent of the output from these two industries as the 95 percent go towards fuel okay that is how this petrochemical and refinery industry is all about five percent is nothing as compared to 95 percent but still this is a huge thing so this is why this refinery and petrochemical is uh, globally a major industry okay